Venice traffic, Cherokee Zero Seven Whiskey, left down on runway two three, Venice traffic. Hey guys, John from Fly Mike Alpha, and today I'm here to talk to you about short field landings. How are we going to land the aircraft on a shorter field? Well, there's a special procedure for this, and it all starts with our PPFF checklist. Power back to 1700, pitching for 80 miles per hour per usual. Once we pitch for 80, we're going to go ahead and trim back to neutral to help us with that. Try not to let the airplane climb any here as we slow down to 80. Flaps at 10, fuel pump on, and let the airplane descend. We have a few little thermals out here holding us up, so we might be using a little less power than normal. But the deal is with a short field landing, we're going to be coming in at a slightly slower airspeed and certainly with full flaps, kind of dragging the airplane in with power and then chopping that power right when we're comfortable and letting the airplane land. Now, I don't recommend chopping that power until you're just a few feet off the ground because you don't want the airplane to drop out of the sky very quickly. So, we're going to be dragging it in with power, nice and slow, keeping that power in that's keeping the airplane in the air, bringing it to just a few feet off the ground, all the way down and hopefully just a few inches off the ground, then reducing power right over your intended point of touchdown. The wheels touch, you retract flaps right away, apply simulated maximum braking. We don't have to yank on the brakes real hard here, but if we were on a short field, that's what we would be doing, and getting the airplane stopped as quickly as possible. We're at 45 degrees, so we can go ahead and turn our left base here. Venice traffic, Cherokee Zero Sun Whiskey, left base, runway 23, Venice traffic. And once we get wings level on base, we'll go 25 flaps per usual, all normal here. The deal with the Piper Cherokee is an 85 mile per hour approach speed. That's what the book says, 85 miles an hour minus 3 miles per hour for each notch of flaps. So when we go to 10 flaps, we can shoot for 82. When we go to 25 flaps, we can shoot for 79. And then when we go to full flaps, we can shoot to 76. That's why I'm always really using 80 as a good ballpark number and maybe just a mile or two over or under that. Now, I don't want to get any slower here than 80 until I get my full flaps in, because those extra flaps help the airplane fly slower. Also, when I add full flaps, I may need to add a little power to overcome that drag. If I notice myself getting below glide, so if we're clear on the right, nobody else is on final. Let's go ahead and turn final for runway 23. Venice traffic, Cherokee Zero Sun final runway 23. Full stop, Venice traffic. My intended point of touchdown today is going to be the piano key. Sometimes we make it the thousand footers, sometimes we make it the numbers. Today we're going to make it the piano key. So no shorter than that. We don't want to end up on the um, before the threshold. And we don't want to end up longer than the piano keys. Somewhere in the piano keys and the numbers would be good, but hopefully right on the piano keys today. And those are those lines just before the runway numbers is what I call the piano keys. So I'm going ahead and pitching here for 76 miles per hour. That's my target airspeed. I'm a little lower than glide slope, so I'll add a little power in here just to make sure I get clear of all my obstacles. Lots of extra drag here with 45 flaps. And Venice traffic, Cherokee Zero, some whiskey short final, runway 23, Venice traffic. We get picked up a little bit by some of those thermals over the parking lot, so we can reduce our power Venice here to help us keep coming down. Is on a six mile final, so runway 23. And two, note that the Pappy lights are taking us to those thousand foot markers. So if I'm going for the piano keys, at some point I will have to get below glide slope. I will have two red lights, just like right now, and that's fine. I'm going to be slower than 80 here. I'm going to get down to about 76. Holding some power in to keep the airplane in the air, bringing her right down to the ground, clearing that 50 foot obstacle. And putting in my crosswind correction, I gotta put in some left rudder, some right aileron, reducing power, and holding her off till right there. And we got our wheels on the ground, rolling all the way over, flaps are up, applying simulated maximum braking, and trying to make our first turn off is our goal here. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching, and thank you so much for sharing us on Facebook, Twitter, and all the other social media sites. If you have any questions about the video at all, just leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Be sure to give us a thumbs up on our video, and you can subscribe to us to keep up with all our latest episodes right over here on the right. Also, check out some of these other helpful videos below, and remember, if you can't fly every day, then fly at MikeAlpha.com. We'll see you all next time.